What's up? I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I got this CB antenna from a Brie. I've used it in a hotel room. Now I'm at a park. Let's see what it'll do. All right, so I picked up this antenna uh, from Amazon right before Hamvention. I spent about $13, and if it's something you're interested in, I'll leave a link uh, down below in the description. So I figured, you know, this might be something fun to try. It was inexpensive, and I uh, figured I'd see what it could do. I know that some CB antennas uh, can actually work uh, rather well on uh, 10 or 12 meters, so... I thought it'd be just another fun little option to uh, give it a try. And I was able to make an FT8 contact on 20 meters uh, with Belize just using a mag mount on the air conditioner in the hotel room. Uh, surprisingly, the Matt 705 tuner was able to tune it up on um, all, all bands 10 through 40 that I tried. Uh, it actually seemed to tune up a little bit better, actually, on... Uh, 2017 and 15 uh, as opposed to 12 and 10 but I'm out at a park right now the Erie Canalway National Heritage Corridor and figure let's throw it on the car and take a look at the SWR curve because the SWR curve wasn't that great in the hotel room that said the mag mount was just on the air conditioner uh, so it didn't have much of a ground plane especially for um, you know 10 meters something like that might be fine for for two meters um it's the signal stuff uh mag mount which is intended for the signal stick but uh let's throw it on the roof of the car and uh see what we can do just want to do a quick shout out to the uh black swamp amateur uh, radio club thank you very much for the uh, t-shirt it was great to see you guys at hamvention all right so here is a quick look at the uh, SWR curve and it's much better. Now I'm sweeping from, uh, you can't see so well with the glare, but I'm going from 12 meters to 10 meters. And you can see in the CB portion, it's definitely um, just below uh, two to one, around 1 1.8 or so, which is, is kind of what I would have expected, something around 2.0 to one or uh, less once I got it on a mag mount on a vehicle, something with a better ground plane. So um, looks much better than the air conditioner. Let's connect it up to the radio and see what it'll do. All right, so I use the uh, ICOM 705 in the hotel room with the Matt 705 tuner, but let me see how this is gonna do with the ICOM 7300. I'm first of all curious if on 10 and 12, it'll tune with a three to one tuner. So let's see here. No, that's, that's not going to work there. Let's go to uh, 12 real quick. Let's see if it'll tune here. And again, this is with uh, just using a 3 to 1 tuner. No, okay. That is fine because uh, we can easily turn uh, the uh, 705, uh, let's see here, into, there it is, emergency mode. That's going to turn the 705 into a uh, basically a 50 watt G90. Now the antenna, I believe, is rated for just 20 watts, maybe 25. So uh, we'll definitely keep the power low. Let's see what we're at right now. All right, let's put this at 20. We'll see if we can take what it's uh, rated for. So let's try the tuner now. All right. Let's go back here. There we go. Tuned up there. Now, did it tune up here? Let me see. No, it's not. The emergency tuner is. This is the first time I've actually encountered that is not tuning it up there. That's interesting. So, okay, let's see what we got with uh, some of the other bands. Let's see here. Let's tune up. Let's see if it'll work on 20. Nope, okay. That is surprising, uh, but at least it'll work on 10, so I guess we'll be uh, calling CQ here on 10 meters. Let's give it a shot. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air from US 6532 in Western New York, QRZ. 
All right. I've been calling for I don't, it's, it's at least five minutes. It seems like forever. I'm not hearing anything. I'm not really seeing much on 10 meters. So maybe it's the band, but I'm not picking up anything. And I'm not seeing anyone other than an FT8 station on uh, the POTA spotting page for 10 meters. So maybe I'll try again for another minute before uh, switching antennas and uh, trying something else. CQ POTA, CQ POTA, CQ POTA. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo, Parks on the Air, QRZ. that'll do it um a couple of surprises uh first of all i am very surprised that the emergency mode tuner on the icom 7300 would only tune the antenna on uh, 10 meters um it wasn't tuning up on uh 12 and i think i tried 22 just for fun but um i was only having luck on uh 10 meters that's interesting i'm very surprised um if anything, that, that says a lot for the Matt 705 tuner, which had no problem tuning it up. Um, but, you know, you don't know unless you try, and that's kind of what we do. We F around and find out, and there's only a $13 antenna. I figured, let's give it a shot and see what it can do. And uh, if anything, it was worth it just to make that one contact with Belize from the uh, hotel room at Hamvention. But, uh, you know, I, I toyed around with it, and... Uh, it is what it is, and uh, I'll experiment with it probably a little bit more, but uh, I ultimately just switched things out for the uh, Wolf River Coils Enhanced 213-inch uh, whip, which is a quarter wave on 20 meters, and uh, I will say that 20 meters seem to be rough at times. Um, you know, people were coming and going. There'd either be a pileup or I'd be calling and calling and calling and not getting anywhere, but... Uh, it's my first time out playing radio in a good week or so, so um, I guess we, we'll see. Um, you know, I'm just getting used to it again. Um, I know the bands were pretty rough with a lot of the solar activity, but uh, I had fun. And All right. I, uh, <laughs> in my excitement to uh, try the antenna with a tuner based on uh, the previous experiment in the uh, hotel room, totally forgot the whole purpose of the... Uh, telescoping whip and seeing if this could be adjusted for uh, 10 meters so I just dropped it down just a little bit just a couple inches on that first section and you can see we're at 28401 so we're kind of in the middle of the 10 meter portion for the uh, text and uh, whatnot and here uh, I got it down to 2.3 or so obviously your mileage will vary depending on the uh, ground plane and vehicle if you use it on a mag mount but uh just a, a minor adjustment and you can get it down close to uh 2.0 to 1 certainly not ideal but um again some of my thoughts around this antenna was you know just as you know a backup to have or, or something just to, to toy with like i did uh in the hotel room so uh there you go there's a quick look at uh the SWR adjustment. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like, subscribe to my channel. I'm Mike, and 2 mak 73 This is the ham and ham radio. <laughs> N2MAK prank. I don't break my radio. <laughs> you see if you're ready to see if it can receive? Well, I'm sure it'll receive fine. N2MAK, this is W2NVP. Ah! <laughs> Oh, that's good. A breeze!